Those are the things a tank crew does to get ready to fire. We took them slowly, man by man, to study them. But actually, they all happen at once and fast. Let's watch it again. The driver and bow gunner close their hatches and set up their periscopes. And the bow gunner checks and half loads the bow machine gun. The gunner puts the turret into power control, adjusts his stabilizer, tests his firing switches, and checks his periscope. The loader loads the coaxial, checks the bore of the 75, inspects the ammunition, turns on the homolite, and finally raises his periscope to travel position. Every one of those preparatory steps is absolutely necessary. When you go into combat, you've got to know your guns will work, your ammunition is clean and undented, and your turret will traverse when you need to traverse. You can be sure of your tank only if you check everything thoroughly while you've got time. There's one other thing to do before you're ready to fire. Your 75 and its sight work together. They're both mounted in the turret, and they traverse when the turret traverses. They're connected by a linkage arm, and the sight moves up and down when the gun moves up and down. You aim the gun by traversing and elevating or depressing it until you pick up your target in your sight. I don't need to tell you that you won't hit what you're aiming at unless the gun and sight are lined up with each other. But travel vibration and gun recoil may jar the sight out of alignment. You therefore sight adjust the 75. It's easy. You simply line up both sight and gun on some distinctive object at least a thousand yards away. The farther away, the better. Any prominent landmark will do. Church steeple, telephone pole, or a silo. Uh, if you're sight adjusting at night, use a star if you can. Best bet around here seems to be a tree. Sergeant. Yes, sir. See that large tree over there with the small ones grouped around it? Yes, sir. We'll use it. Adjust your sight on that large tree. Traverse right. Crosshairs are fixed on the muzzle to help you sight adjust. Black thread is carried for this purpose, but string or even fine wire can be used if necessary. Right, right, there. Now up, Mr. Hare. The loader lines up the gun with a landmark by sighting through the open breech. Then he removes the percussion mechanism and sights through the firing pinwell to get his gun lined up more exactly. The loader and gunner continue moving the gun until the intersection of the crosshairs rests exactly on the top of the landmark, the tip of the tree in this instance. With the gun in perfect alignment, the gunner lines up the sight by turning the sight adjustment knobs. He uses the zero dot of his reticle as the center point. And that's all there is to sight adjusting. Line up first your gun and then your sight on some distinctive object at least a thousand yards away. When the sight adjustment is correct, the loader replaces the percussion mechanism and the gunner makes a record of the knob readings. You'll have to adjust your four periscopic sight heads separately and keep a record of each. Sight adjust all the heads when you have plenty of time and recheck at least the one in your sight just before firing. When you fight buttoned up, the tank commander dismounts the anti aircraft gun and stows it in the turret. And now we're ready for action. 
with our tank tight as a drum. The site in 75 in alignment and all preparatory steps completed. Let's see some action. Driver? Driver, ready. Bog? Bog, ready. Loader? Loader, ready. Gunner? 